Hey guys, Christina Ritchie. If you want more pars, but you really struggle with maintaining your forward shaft lane on the downswing, I'm gonna explain the top culprits of why you might be losing it and define what forward shaft lane is. You ready? Let's get to it. All right, a lot of players struggle with forward shaft lane. So what is forward shaft lane? So here we are at address forward shaft lane as we come into impact, the hands are ahead, so the shaft is moved forward. So this would be address, this would be impact where your hands are ahead. All right, a lot of players instead, the club head gets to the ball before the hands. All right, so I'm gonna talk about the top culprits of why you may be losing your forward shaft lane. And the first thing to look at is your club face. All right, if your club face is open, coming down into the shot, all right, you got to square it up, so you're going to early release to square the face. All right, that's a popular one. Now, why would the club face be open? Your grip. Check your grip. If your grip is weak, where your glove hand line created by your thumb and index is pointing to your front shoulder, this trail hand is way on top. All right, that's a weak grip. That creates an open club face and impact. All right, so just go ahead and be neutral. I like a slightly stronger glove hand grip and then a neutral trail hand, but work with a golf professional to find out what's the best grip for you. All right, there's no cookie cutter grip, but we I don't recommend a weak grip for anyone, all right, because it just, it's too much to square the face. The other reason why your club face might be open is your takeaway. So a lot of players roll their forearms too much during the takeaway and that opens the face, all right, and if you, open the face there at the top, guess what? You gotta square it up so you get an early release. The other popular culprit is cupping your lead wrist. So there's a deep cup here and that opens the face. All right, this is square, this is wide open. All right, so club face, if it's open, you're going to need to square it so you'll lose your forward shaft lane. All right, that's club face. Now what else? If you're missing your bends and your tilts, so if you get to the top of your swing and you're really flat and level and you kind of stand up, you're most likely going to stay up here and just kind of throw the club down. All right, so that's casting. All right, so that kills forward shaft lane. You can just forget about forward shaft lane. So instead, let's get you to have more bends and tilts. We have some side bend and forward bend to maintain the forward shaft angle. All right, if you get too flat, and I'll do it from this angle, where you're up here, you're just gonna kinda cast it like this. If you're down and you add some forward bend and side bend, so rotation towards the target with some side bend, you'll be able to maintain your forward shaft lane. All right, so bends and tilt, your posture can take away the forward shaft lane. Another one is release pattern. All right, so conceptually, I see a ton of players, a ton, scooping it. So really, this trail hand is underneath. It's coming underneath like this. All right, so I'm gonna come a little bit closer. It's underneath instead of on top. So I'm talking about this trail hand. It's underneath, all right? So you are gonna hit behind this big time with that release pattern, all right? say bye-bye to forward shuffling with that release pattern. All right, so instead, you gotta get this trail hand on top. So there's an actual twisting of the club. It twists, all right, and you do it with your wrist. You twist the club so you get this trail hand on top. These knuckles roll down, and that helps to square the face, all right? Because if you have forward shuffling, but you don't have any twisting of the club, that club face is gonna be wide open, so you're the target. You have forward shaft lean, but you're not doing any twisting of the club, right? And this trail hands underneath, that club face is wide open, 
all right? So if the ball keeps going right, 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 guess what? You're not going to want any more forward shaft length. You're just missing the twisting of the club. So just make sure you get this trail hand on top and roll these knuckles down. So you're just essentially twisting the club down, all right, to square the face. And that'll help you maintain your forward shaft lane with a square face. All right, it's a really important point. So how your wrists work affect forward shaft lane. Another popular culprit why you might be losing your forward shaft lane is your lower body is not participating in the party. All right, so if you just get to the top and your lower body does nothing, you're going to just release the club because your lower body is not doing anything and you have to hit the ball. So it's really hard to maintain your forward shaft lane when your lower body is super passive during the downswing. So you really got to get these, the, the hip line rotated open and got to get the foot moving, the knee moving into the front one, that really helps you to maintain your forward shaft lane. And you can see that I'm down, so I'm staying in my posture. All, right? All those contribute to maintaining your forward shaft lane. All right? What I love about the divot board is that you can practice it in the backyard and in the house. You can look in the mirror and see if you have that forward shaft lane, see if your hips are rotating, see if you're twisting the club. You're the mirror, I'm looking at the mirror, I'm like, wow, this looks really good. Then you go ahead and do little half swings. And then you do little half swings, really training those movements if they're new for you. Players that have a super strong grip, let me just segue back to the grip for a second. All right, you're gonna have a hard time twisting this club, all right? So if you twist this club, you're actually gonna really shut the face. All right, so players with a really strong grip can actually have some forward shaft lean without a lot of twisting, all right? I'm not a particular fan of this because what I often see is just hang-ons, all right? So the players don't have any twisting of the club. They may have some forward shaft lean, but they're hanging on, all right? And the contact isn't great. They'll often chunk it. All right, so I am not a big fan of a super strong trail hand grip because I just think it promotes chunks. You need to turn this hip into the front one. All right, so I like to do a little pause because believe it or not, tempo can take away your forward shaft and so the players that really jump on it with their upper body tend to hit behind it and pull it. So you don't have any forward shaft lane, you just have pulls. So those are the top culprits of why you might be losing your forward shaft lane. If you have any questions about this, leave a comment. I'll be sure to answer in future tips.